Well, well, well. Who do we got here? What's your name, fella? I believe my name should already be in your folder. Ah, <clears throat> yes. Oh, a shooting case. These ones are always fun. Aren't you supposed to read those folders before you enter the interrogation room? I'm sorry, uh, do you work here? <laughs> I'm totally joking. <laughs> so, um, tell me what happened, Travis. Okay. Me and my friends were out at night, planning to stop to get some late night dinner since we skipped it earlier in the day. We were cracking a few jokes, making fun of each other, as friends do, and Evan took some of those comments personally and decided to ditch the group. That was the last time we saw him that night. I see. Were you ever in the area for when this shooting took place? Maybe heard the gunshot, heard a scream? We heard nothing. So far, you and June have been the only ones to come in for questioning. How come Cody hasn't come in? I wouldn't know. It's the authority's job to contact friends and family. All I can say is Cody was with us for the rest of the night before leaving to go home well after 12.30. It says here that the mother was already called and she doesn't know where Cody is either. <laughs> Here's the thing. Let's say whoever shot this Evan kid could have had a personal grudge. So the fact is that Cody himself could be in danger. It's quite important that we find him as well. I've provided all the information I have. Well, would you know any fellows who may have a bone or two to pick with Evan? Maybe even Cody? I am not aware of any grudges, no. What about anyone who may know more information on them? Evan was a pretty quiet kid most of the time, so no, I don't think so. Hmm. Well, I think that's everything I need. Thank you for your time, uh, Travis. Of course. I hope I was helpful. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you here. These interviews aren't always the most helpful things in the world. But hey, they're worth a shot. <laughs> That's not funny.